From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Kruger. Here is your afternoon update. You know, it's going to be a hot start to the week. You may notice that here, but at least the Valley can say it won't be in the triple digits for most of us. We're expecting mainly mid to upper 90s there, upper 80s, low to mid 90s for the higher elevations, maybe by the middle of the week, some showers, not to mention cooler for the rest of the week after today. Quite a drop in our temperatures, as a matter of fact, but no big heat waves in the forecast anytime soon. We take a look at that neighborhood forecast for today. Yeah, it's hot, but at least no triple digits in the forecast. 80s, 90s for the higher elevations, mid 60s out along the coast here for today. Let's take a look at those winds and you know it's going to be a bit breezy out there today and you know that is going to elevate that fire weather risk due to the fact that it's still hot and it will still be very dry out there today as well. Now month Tuesday that is the wind should start to die down. Good news although still a bit breezy off in the eastern mountains but as the next storm system approaches on Wednesday look at the winds. They'll be coming in from the north northwest gusting easily over 25 even 30 miles per hour. Now, the thing is, typically during a north wind event, we have some major concerns. However, humidity levels will be higher and there'll be chances for showers in there as well. Now, this is not going to be a, this is going to be a fairly moisture starved system on Wednesday, but with the higher humidity levels, with the lower temperatures on Wednesday, the fire danger won't be nearly as high as we would typically see with a wind event like this with very hot and dry conditions. So we at least have that to look forward to, but it certainly is something we need to be aware of that those winds are going to be up there. In fact, we may even see a few wind advisors out there as well over the next couple of days, especially going into Wednesday and Thursday. Now we look at the humidity levels and yes, that's what we another factor that we look at. Very dry for the rest of the day today and not to mention for your Tuesday. And even though the winds are dying down, we do still have that elevated fire weather risk, but remember we saw those winds very strong coming from the Northwest on Wednesday, but look at the humidity levels. We're back up to about 30% on average for most of us in the valley and a bit higher than that for many of the higher elevations. So that is, of course, one big redeeming factor to with those gusty winds. But today, yeah, we've got the high to very high in the valley, even in the moderate to high for central Siskiyou County. But you'll notice on Tuesday, with the winds dying down, temperatures dropping, we're more within that moderate to high range here for the valley. So that certainly is some good news there. Let's take a look at that cooling trend we have in store for us. So there's the heat that was over us last week, not to mention over the weekend. That's getting squashed because we've got this right here coming in from the Gulf of Alaska. This is going to be that cooler weather. So tomorrow will be the transition, still fairly warm, but by Wednesday, temperatures for the valley mid 80s and the 70s for the higher elevations. This is also when we see the chance for showers and not to mention those winds picking up as we saw. The winds may stick around on Thursday, but that cooler air moves on out. Then we've got another trough of low pressure moving in by this upcoming weekend. So when the first trough moves out, temperatures go up by the end of the week, but then they go back down again for next weekend and maybe even bringing with it the potential for some showers in the forecast as well. So let's take a look at what's going on out there. So there's the area of low pressure I've got my eyes on. That's what's going to bring us to cooler weather and a chance for showers. The Storm Prediction Center is bringing the best chance for thunderstorms in a good portion of Modoc County and northern portions of Siskiyou County. So I think, quite honestly, when we look at future cast, you'll see that that's holding fairly true. Let's take a look at that. First and foremost, as we go into tonight, there's that fog returning for most of us along the coast, even into tomorrow morning. It does burn off in some areas, but may stay persistent in some areas as well for the coast. Some afternoon clouds developing off to the north, but no showers, no thunderstorms just yet. Then by Wednesday, there's the system pushing through. So you can see where most of the thunderstorms are. Siskiyou and Moda County, southward, it's not even showing anything for Lassen County or really the eastern mountains in general and nothing really for the valley. 
That being said, I'm including a chance for maybe a stray sprinkle or a light shower for places like Redding, maybe as far south as Red Bluff, but no chances as you head to the south. And I'm including also a chance for some shower activity, light showers for parts of Lassen and even Plumas counties. Now we take a look at the long range forecast and yeah, I mean, it's still gonna be fairly dry. Sunday is the next system coming down. Now, as of right now, this forecast model has backed off on that potential for more showers on Sunday. But the forecast model run before this, it was showing showers and thunderstorms even for parts of the valley. So we're going to have to kind of, it's one of those stay tuned type of forecasts for this upcoming weekend. And then by next week, what we're really going to start to see happen is these systems is kind of clipping to our north with most of the rain over the Pacific Northwest, but some of it may try to clip part, parts along the coast and even to the north and say around Siskiyou County and Modoc County. But for the most part, I just don't see a lot of rain in the forecast. Now, again, if you see a thunderstorm in Siskiyou and Modoc County, yeah, you're talking brief periods of heavy rainfall on Wednesday, but for the most part, overall, it's not a big rain producer for Northern California on Wednesday. But temperatures today, yes, as I mentioned, that hot start to the week, mid to upper 90s in the valley, 80s and 90s for the higher elevations, and we got those temperatures in the mid to upper 60s along the coast. All right, so let's take a look at that seven day outlook for the valley. Redding, maybe Red Bluff, a slight chance for a shower, maybe a sprinkle. Don't cancel outdoor plans because of what you're seeing here. It's not going to be a big deal. Temperatures, though, that's the bigger deal. It's going to be much cooler. And by the way, also on the windy side for Wednesday, Thursday. Temperatures briefly go up barely low 90s for Friday, Saturday, before we see another dip in our temperatures by the end of the weekend and early next week. Chance for showers for the coast, better chance for measurable rainfall for places like say Del Norte County, Northern Humboldt, uh, inland areas, Gas Key, for example, better chances for showers there. But as you head south, Hoopa, Willow Creek, your chances are gonna be slimmer. Out in Weaverville, yeah, maybe a slight chance for some showers there as well, but again, not a ton. Then we start to see those temperatures increase by Friday, Saturday, and then another chance for showers going into Sunday for the coast and most of the mountains as well. Your Siskiyou County, Modoc County, and Eastern Mountains, there of course is that chance for showers. Now again, maybe around Mount Shasta, yeah, you could see a thunderstorm, not to mention El Turris, but Susanville, maybe in the form of a passing sprinkle or a light shower. Then temperatures increase a little bit Friday, Saturday, and you're looking at another chance for showers by Sunday and cooler in the low to mid 70s. Where are the locals down the street? The neighbor you come to for advice. A nest egg for the golden years. A loan or a new account for that growing business. What started in Chico 50 years ago has taken us all around California, providing big bank lending power and high-tech service while keeping our relationships personal. We're still the locals down the street, no matter where your street might be. Tri-Counties Bank, California's local bank.